Join me weekly for Experience Galveston for ideas of what to see and do on beautiful Galveston Island. Today on Experience Galveston, we're meeting with Jody Wright Gidley of the Galveston County Museum to get a peek of the newly reopened museum right here at the courthouse. So Jody, this is exciting. The museum is now open. It's in its new home and it's been a long time coming. For people that don't know, can you give us a little background of the history of the Galveston County Museum and where we are right now? Yeah, so the Galveston County Museum has been around since the 70s. We were once located on Market Street, Hurricane Ike damaged the building. We've had to move twice. We are finally reopened with regular hours here at the County Courthouse building that's at 722 Moody or 21st Street and we're at the entrance of the museum's new exhibit space. Let's go on inside. I'm so excited about this. Wow. So Jody, what's the focus of the museum and what can people expect to see here? Well, this is the Galveston County Museum. So you're gonna see stories from all over the county, community histories. We have an exhibit about the military history of the whole county. There's been a lot of forts and camps here throughout the years. You're gonna see um, information about early architects throughout the county, photographers, photographs, 1900 storm, corner stores, and even archeology. span this was the jury assembly room. It was one big empty space, and now it has been turned into what you're going to see. Oh, wow. Well, let's walk on through. So this says Texas City and Fort Crockett, and wow. So this is the county military history exhibit. Our museum also absorbed the collection of the Houston Weather Museum, oh. and the, predicting the weather was part of the Army. And so that leads into the whole story of our military history. I did not know that. We have several historical commission members that cooperated with us on this exhibit. They have done a lot of work to restore Fort Travis and Camp Wallace. How much time do you think people should spend here in the museum? It depends on how much of a reader you are. We love readers because we love people who spend the time to read all the things we've written. But if you're not a big reader, that's okay too. I would say about an hour is what you should plan. Well, and one of the things that's nice about the Galveston County Museum is it's free. Yes, the museum is free. We are your county museum, so it's free for you. Well, we have to have the 1900 storm. Yes. Wow, these photos are amazing. Well, how big is the collection of the Galveston County Museum? Our, you're seeing about 25% of our collection in the exhibit hall. The rest of our collection is stored safely upstairs, and we will work to rotate artifacts out throughout the year so that you can see more the next time you come. So, okay, this is photography. Wow. Galveston was well known for many photographers that have come and worked in Galveston throughout the years. And you're seeing some of their cameras, some of their work in this room. So what's your favorite? My favorite artifact is something that is a fairly new acquisition to the museum's collection, and it's the coroner's ledger. So during the 1900 storm on Bolivar, there was a justice of the peace working to help um, collect items from bodies that could then be used for families to identify their loved ones with. And so this is the original ledger, and these are the original things that he labeled very carefully and kept so that when families came to try to identify their family members, they were able to do that through these items that he kept. Not everything was claimed, and that's what you see in the museum today. Wow. This bicycle from the Tropia store was featured at the Smithsonian in an exhibit about the corner stores. How nice. Of course, the whole corner store book was all from written by Ellen Beasley, who was a part of the project. Wow. 
Now, if people have items that they want to donate, what kinds of things are you looking for to add to your collection, or do you even have space to add anything at this we point? We do have space to add. We have to be a little bit careful about what we do accept from the public, but definitely all of the items in our collection were donated from people in our communities. We even have people from across the nation that may have something tied to Galveston that we've accepted. But um, yeah, we are always welcome to hear from people who have something related to Galveston County history that they'd like to donate. Well, this is up. This looks familiar. Yes, so this was where the museum used to be for many years on Market Street at the City National Bank building. Now, are you looking for volunteers or? Yes, our biggest need is for helping. Uh, we need volunteers to help us greet visitors at the door. We're open three days a week and um, it would really help if we could have some volunteers to help greet visitors. We've had three new volunteers in the last three weeks and it, they've had a lot of fun being here and we really love their company as well. So do you plan to rotate some of the exhibits? We do. Uh, we, we know that it's not um, a good thing to keep the same artifacts out forever for conservation reasons and we also want to rotate them out so that we can show off more of our collection. Well, congratulations, Jody. This is exciting and it's good to have you back. You kind of made a full circle to come back to the County Museum. So um, this is wonderful for Galveston and it's gonna be such a treasure for people that wanna learn more about the history of Galveston County. Yes, we certainly welcome everyone to come visit. We're open Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We're free admission, we have parking available, so please come out. The address again is 722 Moody or 21st Street. We're in the county courthouse building there in the lobby. Thank you for joining me for Experience Galveston. Remember to submit your ideas to I-45 Now and Galveston Now and find us on Facebook, Instagram, and on YouTube.